Measurements, technology, and innovation are all inextricably linked together. You can't advance technologies without precision measurements. The vision of our NIST on a Chip program is to create a suite of tools and sensors that are fit for purpose, small, precise, and portable, and never have to be recalibrated. So the concept of eternal traceability that calibrated once and never has to be calibrated again, that's an exciting concept. That could have applications in outer space. It, it works very well in our military where they have to be out on site. If you're in a submarine, you can't just turn around and come back to port because your instruments are, re are due for recalibration. Well, as your, as your instruments are deployed farther and farther out, which they are farther out into the solar system, then it becomes more difficult to calibrate against ground-based measurements. Planes right now are roughly 50% plastic, but we don't know how long they're gonna last. And if we can take sensors and embed them into those structures and do real-time monitoring for fatigue, well then we've got a whole new way of thinking about maintenance. And if the process can be done faster, more efficiently, then we have to buy fewer aircraft because they're not out of service for as long a period. But sometime in the future, these ultra-precision measurements will enable us to make measurements that are so precise that an atomic clock will be able to probe gravity waves that would allow us not only to observe distant events like black holes colliding with each other, but allow us to observe what's going on inside the Earth that causes earthquakes and volcanoes and where water is located under the earth or where oil is located under the earth. In biotech, for example, the ability to precisely monitor the temperature of vaccines is very important. Imagine if we could embed a NIST on a chip temperature sensor on every vial. We could help ensure the quality of delivered vaccines. We know that this is uh, not just science fiction and only futuristic because we have already um, success stories uh, that fit this paradigm. But we're looking for partners to explore what we know are endless possibilities for how we can translate these technologies into practical devices.